Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, February 12th, 2014. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, we've been talking a lot about frozen in time. Where will you freeze at the end of this month? So I thought I'd bring down my webinar half off. Check out the download link below if you want to go deeper into where you will freeze at the end of this month. And today is a huge shocker to our souls, to the earth, to the system that we're in. Woo! Mercury gonna come out of a retrograde in Pisces and slip into Aquarius today. So that is a huge shift as Mercury has been lost in this retrograde, in the water, in the ocean. This is a lot like when you come up for air, you know, it's just like a huge, oh, big shock. Especially in Aquarius, the electricity, it's like a zip. And in a retrograde, you never know. Today would be the day where some really weird functions happen on your phone or anything. I, Aquarius energy is much more electronic and weird things happening. Pisces is miscommunications and being lost and unconscious thought patterns and just really just trying to figure out signs and dreams. And this really shifts it into this like shocker system, these epiphanies and oh my gosh, and this can really give you some weird stuff. This is alien energy that comes in, to be honest with you, that gives you just really weird, ah, oh, I'm starting to figure this out. But we are gonna have to watch the chart because these are the cusps that are firing off. And I'm a cusper if you didn't know. So when I see a day like today, we are in a very weird transitional state, but a very positive one because of the moon gonna slip out of Cancer and come into Leo today. So we're gonna have this mental and emotional shift today that you will feel. And if we actually look at the other placement of the cusps, it's at zero degree Scorpio. The North Node has now shifted to zero degrees. We are now getting ready for the nodes, which are the eclipse points in space. These are the knots that are invisible, that are calculations of you know, this very sensitive spot on Earth of why we have eclipses off this perfect alignment when the sun and the moon sit so perfectly with the, actually it's the Earth that positions itself perfectly between the sun and the moon to have these eclipses. That's, those spots are moving into Libra and Aries a week from today. So here is now that on a cusp. So this shows me that this is about our transformation, our deep truth, and more importantly, on a more grander scale today, we've got the sun, which is gonna come off the square to Saturn and start to try and Mars, and this is all about Mars. This is all about action. This is all about strength. This is a huge surge coming our way really fast. We come into this kind of restrictive spot and then wham! Because when you see this full moon brewing in Leo, which is about love and passion, and especially in Aquarius and the Mercury retrograde energy coming on the sun for this full moon, this is a aha, I'm starting to get it, I know what my heart wants, this is what I need to go for, oh my gosh, you're, it's like feeling like you're on an adrenaline rush that's gonna start coming over here in the next 48 hours, trust me on this one. But this is about our transformation, and this is about taking action, and this is about, more importantly, the big epiphanies coming, the big ahas, the directions we must take. And it's so interesting that even though we still gotta pay attention to, you know, taking our time and our truth and making sure that our emotions are really deeply desirable in the areas that we pick in our life, I think that it's our heart that sparks up today. It's us learning to, to emotionally find what we love because it's the other ingredient of Aquarius. Sure, it's great to connect. Sure, it's great to have friends. Sure, it's great to help people off their back, you know, put the shirt off your back and do all these humanitarian things. But there is love. There is passion in ourself, the love of our own self that we've got to remember too because that helps you go out there and do your humanitarian thing when you're happy. It's not that easy to give the shirt off your back when you're not happy, trust me. I mean, doing the whole humanitarian thing or feeding the homeless or anything can, can be a wonderful experience, but when you're not happy, it, I, you know, 
I don't know if you're really helping the whole cause. It's when you're spreading your love around the world and spreading your love through humanitarian or helping a homeless kid or helping the hungry, but that love, it's not the food as much as the love that you're spreading that changes the world. And in order for us to change our own individual lives now, we need to add this heart to the equation. We need to add this courage. We need to add this strength. We need to break apart these old rules and we need to step into who we are. And this is a huge shock to the system that comes today. I've been, you know, as an astrologer, I've like, I've been waiting for this moment, but you know, you gotta get people through. When you're in a Mercury retrograde in Pisces, it's just, you know, swimming in the fishes and, blah, 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 and cars on the freeway moving around. And it's like, whoa, am I gonna run into this guy? And what's happening here? And what did you say? And unconscious behaviors popping up and dreams. And it's just funky and weird. It's just like an ocean full of fish blah, 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 and, and whales and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you've been watching me for a long time, that's my favorite thing to do is Pisces blah, 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 and all the fish and all, you know, it's just like a crazy blah, stew of just energy and, and, and trying to figure it all out. But when it comes into Aquarius, it becomes much more clear, much more sharp, much more understanding, much more aha, much more connected, much more electric. It just changes the whole game here. When you add a full moon coming into Leo like this, and if you see, this is a beautiful magical dance in the universe that shows you that the heavens definitely are part of our lives, that we are connected, that we are in this electricity, we are in this life force, and this life force is shifting fast. It is gonna be tomorrow and the next day which is this full moon brewing and Mars and the sun starting to trine that are so important in our lives of the directions we're about to start to take, of the actions we need to do. This is also the North Node and Mars getting closer, so this has everything to do about action. Plus, Mars is gonna retrograde on the North Node, which shows me that the universe is pointing everything into taking action to bring the proper relationships, the proper harmonies back into our lives. But it takes now us stepping into our truth understanding the transformations we must go under, understanding more importantly, as especially as the moon squares the nodes today and the south node, believe it or not, in Taurus, that in order for our happiness to come, we must pay attention to our truth. We must not be holding on to value systems or certain things that only make us happy. It's got to be our truth. We got to be living in our truth to make us happy. We got to let go of, oh, I don't have enough money or I don't have enough, you know, greatness inside myself. You know, money has to do with your value systems. This shows today, a day like today, it's your happiness comes from you living in your truth, your desire, your passion, and you going for that. And these are times, especially as the moon, you know, today the moon's gonna be in Leo at the first couple degrees here, and it's gonna make a very weird energy to Mercury retrograde. That's why this is a very deep emotional and mental change today that you will really widely feel. But I think that this is a day where you start to feel like you're starting to get it again. Feel like you know where to start to take some action. And it's really going to climax here in the next 48 hours. So I wouldn't say that today is the day that you just go ahead and make it. But today's the day that brings the excitement back. Today's the day that you start to see the universe shift. Today's the day where you start to go, aha, I know what I should be doing now. I know which direction to take. It starts to become exciting. It starts to become empowering. And this is about finding the empowerment of the love of yourself again and what you can do with that love. How can you spread it around? How can you spread your passion around? How can you spread what you want in your life the most? And so this is a very important day because you'll see, sure, this is a day where electricity wise, uh, especially electronic wise and stuff, internet wise, you're going to see some weird stuff go on with a Mercury retrograde. And this can be very unpredictable, very unexpected news coming in from the weirdest areas. This is alien energy. Mercury retrograde in, in Aquarius and especially from Pisces to Aquarius is the other side bringing this alien in. You know, sometimes do you ever think that maybe aliens are just the physical forms of just the spirit world bringing it in? Do, do, do. So anyway, think of it like that. Mercury has come out of the, the, the invisible spiritual world and is now bringing in bloop, the alien wild electric energy into your life to give you the ahas and to have you see things differently and to give you a satellite view into everything so you go, oh shit, I see it now. Plus with the sun coming off Saturn, there's a feeling of being able to come off the restriction and starting to step into the action back in your life. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one reading. Thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you 
tomorrow.